Imagine if we took a couple of months for the oxygen we breathed to reach our cells. Well, if we relied on diffusion alone for oxygen to get to the tips of our toes, it would take about this long. By this time, our cells would have died. This is why large multicellular organisms like plants and animals have evolved specialized exchange surfaces like lungs, gills, digestive systems and roots along with specialized transport systems like the xylem and phloem and the circulatory system. These systems help us exchange gases and nutrients with the environment and transport them to where they are needed within the body. In small organisms like bacteria, oxygen and nutrients can easily be transported into and around the organism by diffusion. This is because smaller organisms have a much larger surface area to volume ratio. Whereas larger multicellular organisms have a relatively small surface area compared to a large volume. To get around the small surface area to volume ratio, large organisms have evolved exchange surfaces with large surface areas. For example, the lungs in mammals are highly branched with air sacs called alveoli on the end of each branch. This increases the surface area and helps to increase the amount of space available for diffusion at any given time. You can watch this video about diffusion. The lungs have other adaptations to help increase the rate of diffusion of oxygen into the body and carbon dioxide out of the body. These adaptations include a short diffusion distance to the blood supply. It's a distance of just one cell. A good blood supply which maintains a concentration gradient. Lungs are also ventilated by breathing in and out to make sure there is a flow of air over the surface. Other surfaces especially adapted for exchange include the small intestines which are highly folded to increase the surface area available for nutrient exchange into the blood. So what happens once the substances have diffused into the body? Well, they need to be transported around to get them to where they are needed quickly. Even waste products like carbon dioxide and urea also need to be transported around the body. In summary, to cope with a small surface area to volume ratio, which is inefficient at exchanging substances with the environment, Large multicellular animals have evolved exchange services with large surface areas and short diffusion distances. This increases the rate of diffusion. Transport systems like the circulatory system are then used to move substances around the body. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuscal app as well? Until next time.